So Dave, Robbins picked the new fixture, so we're ready to get started. So what's the first thing that we do? First thing, I'll correct you. And okay. We actually would call that a faucet. A fixture in the trade is considered to be a sink. Okay. So, or a toilet or something is a fixture. And the faucet is a faucet. So if you go into the plumbing store and you ask for a fixture, they're going to probably hand you a sink instead of a faucet. Uh, so make sure you, anyway. It, 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 it's good to know the, the proper language you when you go. It. Exactly. It, it helps. It helps. Okay. So she's got the faucet. Yes, she So does. what's the first thing we're going to do? First thing first, I'll let you do it, is we need to shut off the water. And then from there, I'll lead you step by step. Okay. All right. Turn the knobs to the right. Remember, righty tighty. So shut off the water until they're firmly shut off. Next, we will disconnect the supply lines using a wrench. And again, lefty-loosey, disconnect the nuts and pull up on the supply tubes and they'll pop right out. Next, we want to disconnect the uh, pop-up assembly, which is what operates the drain. And that's simply a clip, a little squeeze clip you squeeze between your fingers, slide it off of the rod, the pop-up rod. Next, we disconnect the nuts that are holding the faucet to the bottom of the sink. And in this case, there are two little retaining clips which simply slide off. And that allows the faucet to be pulled up completely through the holes in the sink. So Dave, I got that. So we're all done with taking everything apart? Not quite. You have the faucet out. Now you have to remove the drain assembly. Okay. So how do we do that? All right. Back underneath. Next, we disconnect the drain. And there's just two large nuts. They should be hand tight. And in some cases, if there's a metal drain on the sink, you'll need to use a pipe wrench to do this. Next, we remove the pop-up assembly from the drain. There's a nut on the drain column. You simply loosen that, take it completely off, and you pull off a little rod, which is what holds that drain assembly inside the sink, and you pull the drain out. Now that it's open, from the top, you can simply loosen the trim plate and keep turning it and it will drop out. And it's a good idea to have someone underneath the sink, a friend or your other arm, if it's long enough, to hold onto the drain so it doesn't drop on the floor. So Dave, it was fairly simple, taking it apart, and now we're ready to put the new faucet in. I know, you know, first you'd recommend using a little barkeeper's friend yes. to get the stain off, and I was surprised. I mean, it, it really came off with no effort. That's it. It was just basically hard water that had built up over the years of the old faucet being on there. But and now if, you have a brand new one. Right. <laughs> and, and, and the stain would have shown otherwise, and we did check that. Yes. So, okay, I, I think the obvious is, is that we're going to put the uh, assembly in now. Right. And this faucet, if you had, a, again, as we discussed earlier in the show about if you had a, a single hole sink, you could use this without the cover plate. But oh, okay. in this case, because we have three holes, we need to cover, cover the outside two okay. holes. And you do want to be careful with the copper tubing at this point, yes, right? Yes, so you don't want to bend it in half or anything like that, or you will put a break in it, possibly. Okay. All right. Goes in there. There's two little alignment pins underneath there that hold everything in place. Which and there you go. There you go. Our connections in this case, uh, coming off the bottom of the faucet, are straight copper tubing. And in this case, we use a compression fitting, which comes with the faucet. And we're going to tighten this down. And inside will be a little fitting that actually expands and tightens around the outside of that piece of tubing, so it won't leak. And that's done with two wrenches and again turning it right to tight, tighten it up and those end up becoming a, basically a permanent part of that tubing coming off the bottom of the faucet. David, this is our new drain. It looks very much like the old drain. Now some people will see this and they'll wonder, what are these holes in the side? Is it right. going to leak? No, it's not going to leak. The idea of those is when you have a sink, you have usually an overflow and what that is, if you overfill the sink, it's not going to allow the water to run off over the counter and these holes have to drain somewhere, so they drain down inside a double wall of the sink, and as it comes back down, the water flows down into the side of these drains. Okay. So that goes down in, down your main drain. I was wondering where that water went. <laughs> That's where it goes. Now, in this case, we have a, a gasket on the bottom. We've loosened up that nut, which is just like the one you loosened up before to get it off the sink. And so we've loosened that down because we have to adjust it to fit the thickness, the depth of this drain. So to do that, we start with it loose to begin with. And then what we're going to do from the top, we're going to push this through the drain, and then this is threaded, this top assembly. And alignment? Right. Yep. Alignment always on this is with the pop-up fitting to the back. To the back, okay. Facing straight towards the wall. So we go up underneath. 
So you're doing the stuff from top, I'm doing the stuff underneath? It's called seniority, David. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> there it is. So we get this in place and get it tightened down. Again, we have to have that gasket in there too. That's very important that you need to make sure that gasket is in place because that's going to form your seal on the top part of the sink. All right, so we're in place, we're aligned. Now we need to tighten up that large nut that's at the bottom. From so underneath. You're the large nut who gets to do it. <laughs> that would be me. So it's tight now, so what's next? Next we need to finish the assembly of our drain. And this is our pop-up rod. This is what actuates our drain to pop up and down. And there's a hole in the back of the faucet that that drops right into. And you push, make sure it's pushed all the way down. Next we are going to drop in our pop-up assembly. And this has a little hole at the bottom. And you wanna make sure that that lines up going front to back. So this is the rod and you're going to loosen up that nut on the very back of the drain. Okay. And push that through. Now remember earlier we lined up the hole at the bottom of the pop-up. So that rod should go through it and we'll test it in just a moment. There it is if you go up and down on the lever. Is it going up and down? It's going up and down. So now I can... Now you can tighten the nut down. One on. Now slide through the hole. Okay. Now slide the other one on and that will clip that on. So Dave, the pop-up's working, so what's our next step? Uh, we're going to reconnect the water. Okay. So we want to make sure that those new fittings at the end of the water supply, those are wrapped with Teflon tape so they don't leak. Okay. And when you're putting on Teflon tape? It is again righty-tighty, so... And I start at the bottom. Start at the bottom, keep it fairly taut, and then when you wrap a couple of turns around the fitting, simply give it a pull and it will snap. And we're going to reuse our water supply lines. These are since a fairly new house, and uh, these are a PEX tubing, which are a code plumbing supply tube that we can reuse in this case. So again, screw those onto your ends that you've already taped. Now, how do I know which one is hot? Uh, in this case, the faucet actually is labeled on the hot side. There's a little tag and it says hot, so that's the hot side. All right, that makes it easy. <laughs> okay, so we've slipped the, the plastic tailpiece back over the bottom of the drain, and there's a nut at the top, which we will tighten down later. Right now, we want to leave it loose because we want to be able to adjust the drain. Next, you're going to put the other nut and the other little seal, which will attached to our P-trap. The P-trap is the bend, or a J-bend, these are also called. And so that's going to go up, and you're going to tighten that down a little bit, get the thread started. And then you're going to adjust it to fit with the other one that's in the back where we had it before. Okay, now David, you're going to want to turn on the water again. And as we mentioned, this being a newer home, we didn't have to replace the shutoffs at the wall. Okay, success on that one. So we had a small leak. I just tightened it up just a little bit and we've turned the water back on and we've solved the leak. It was really not a big deal. And there it is. And your face isn't wet, so you did a good job, Dave. <laughs> Glad to hear that. So, Robin, what do you think? I'm not sure that's the faucet I picked out. I think uh, it better. Just kidding. Okay. It I looks think it better, fabulous. Man. I love it. Yeah. So now I have a little bit more to do in this bathroom. I think I'm going to have to paint even. Oh, look at the time. <laughs> I don't think so. All right, I won't ask you to do that. But you made it look easy. Dave made it look easy, was it? Well, Dave helped a lot. I mean, I think this is definitely something that someone can do at home themselves. I mean, it does take some time. You need to read the directions. But I will say, you know, go pick your faucet at George Marlin. Ask him for help and ask him for the tips. It's the tips and the tools that do make the job a lot easier. So we hope you love your new faucet, and we appreciate all your help, Dave. You're welcome. I love it. Thank you, guys.